Hello everyone, welcome back to Clam Chowder. Oh my god, we are making that paper right now. Um, this is, this is shrimp money, okay? Like, we're not forced gum. We don't want that shrimp money. We want real-time money. Although, actually, realistically, the shrimp economy is like a multi-million dollar economy and it's actually very important. Oh my god, stop brushing your hair! If, if you're a millionaire, you can, you don't even need to have any hair. Your hair can be full of twigs. Doesn't matter if you're fucking rich. Um, let us create a custom engine. Oh, wow. We're gonna call this Blubber Nugget 1.0. All of the greatest features. This is the next level shit. I think we need to research a new topic. Oh my god, zombies? Yes. Why do you need so much technology in a library software? Now, I know in game I don't have an actual marketing department right now, but word on the street and uh, a little boo 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 research has shown that uh, hippos are right now so hot. They are so trendy right now. As you see by this graph, the sales and the profits are just going up. So you know we gotta incorporate hippos in this. Here we have it. Hippo zombie fun time. Uh, it's gonna be great. Um, we're gonna do 2D graphics v2. We're gonna have zombie hippos running through the streets. You can ride the zombies. You can play as the zombies. Hey, wait, where, where, where did these hippos come from? It's literally gonna be like a little intro in the beginning. It's gonna be like the hippos enter the station, and then they got bit by zombies, and everyone freaked out. That's pretty much it. Dialogues not very important. Hippos one can't talk. Zombies two can't talk so it's like a match made in heaven yeah sure that's confidence pray for good reviews all right we're blowing through the cash but we got to get that mono sound up in here it was zombie fun time hopefully I mean it sounds like a Japanese game and hopefully it will sell well there let's see the reviews coming in oh my god very good very good very enjoyable oh an outstanding game we got our first nine and a good game so an average of eight I think this is our best game so far. But before we get the first sales of the week, let us make the cover art. And there we have Hippo Zombie Fun Time. To no surprise, it did amazingly well in Japan. There were some translation issues, but for the most part, the people of Japan love Hippo Zombie Fun Time. They love zombies, they love hippos. And I just knew the charts did not lie. We're doing great. Let's research a new topic. Oh my. I have played this game before, and I, I may have had a bit of a trend towards a certain type of romance game. And I know maybe mature video games aren't gonna be as popular right now, but there is a certain someone that uh, I have had the pleasure to work with in previous business inquiries. Uh, and that would be the man himself, Fabio. So uh, let me call him up real quick and see if he's down to do this thing. Oh, famusiake, hello my friend, what's up? So I, I want to make another video game with you. Oh, that sounds so cool. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I was just wondering if I could license your image. Why, of course. All right, cool. Uh, I'll talk to your people. I'll send over the paperwork and. Uh... Excellent. Oh, and Ike. Yes, Fabio. Lick my balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fabio. I'll uh, I'll talk to you later. All right, we got the licensing rights. Um, Fabio, he's a great guy. He's fucking crazy, but aren't all Italians. Anyways, uh, we have Fabio the game. Finally, I'm able to make a meaningful game. We're gonna get that mature audience, and we're gonna get him right where we want him. Fabio, his adventures, riding a horse, making love on a horse, touching a horse. If we can get his aura correctly, it doesn't matter how he moves, um, you will get wet. We want Fabio's voice. He's going to be in the studio for two days, just turning that mic into gold. And then we'll use that gold to fund this product further. So world design is super important for RPGs. We can just have him singing in the bathroom. We can just record him pooping. And that can be 
um, all the music we need. So we're going to do that for development stage three. Um, it's looking good. We got Steve O'Connell here for playing it GG. Let's give him an interview. Um, you know, we would fly Fabio over here to, you know, do some press for us, but he's very busy and, um, you know, this is kind of like a little tester. We, uh, we don't want Fabio ending up like Jerry Rice talking about a dog football game. We want to make him a, a really nice product. We got some hype because we know panties are coming off for Fabio. The design is at an all-time high. If you're in a sculpt, if you're in a try to interpret the body of Fabio, you gotta sculpt that to a T. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, what? Oh my god, nine. Almost perfect. Fabio is almost perfect. How dare you insult him? Oh my god, we got nine, seven, nine, and seven. So an average of eight again, which is actually what we got last time, but god damn. If we want to sell copies, we have to have some nice cover art, so... Without further ado, let's get to it. I'm too sexy for my cat. Too sexy for my cat. For pussy. For pussy cat. Alright, simple but perfectly made. Um, Fabio the game. It has caused tidal waves across the world as people get completely wet. Totally worth the licensing cost for Fabio. That will be all for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, and until next time. I'm